uh, we'll be talking about PPE, the technique and procedure. And as all of you are aware that in the last few weeks, especially the coronavirus, healthcare workers have been exposed to multiple biological fluids and we are aware that it is capable of transmitting multiple diseases which may include from hepatitis to Ebola virus, HIV and even coronavirus. Now what do we need when we talk about PPE? PPE. So before going on to that, let me ask you a question on a pattern of neat PG exam. What should be the correct order for wearing a PPE? So what do we exactly do for PPE? We need gloves, boot coverings, gowns, respirators, hoods, aprons, and a full face shield. Now, uh, I'll show you a video of exactly what do we need when we talk about PPE. So prior to the PPE, it's possible that you may be thirsty. It's You may need to wear have a cold drink before that. If you are wearing prescription glasses, wear your prescription glasses. Tighten them. You need to have clean PPE beforehand. It's important to have a trained observer with you. You should not do it alone. Especially for girls, it's better to tie your hair before hat. Remove your mobiles and keychains. It's important to check all the stuff before you even think about wearing PPE. Clean your hands with an alcohol based rub. Wear the first pair of gloves. This is called the inner gloves. Now wear the boot covers. Now you wear the gown, ensuring that the inner part of the gloves remain below the sleeve. Ask your observer to tie the gown for you. And now it's time to put on the respirator. And you need to hold the respirator from the outside and then you wear the respirator. The lower strap around the back of your head and the upper strap on your head and please check whether the respirator is well snugly fitted to your nose or not by breathing in and out please do check for any air leaks when you're wearing the respirator Now you need to place the hood, the face hood. It should go on till your shoulders. If you have an apron, you can wear the apron at this stage. Now it's time to wear the second pair of gloves. And now these second pair of gloves should go over the sleeve of your gown. And now the time to wear your face shield. Just your elastic strap of the face shield. Turn around and show your observer the integrity of your PP. Clean your hands again with the alcohol based hand rub. Now you are ready to go inside the patient's room. So the correct order for wearing PPE would be first of all inner gloves, boot, gown, respirator, face hood, outer pair of gloves and lastly we wear the goggles or the face shield. Now how do we remove the PPE? What should be the sequence of removing the PPE? And I'll be again showing you a video of how we remove PPE. It's a very important question for your exams. And it's a very important and a very difficult way 
how to remove PP, you need to remember that. And even before you remove PP, you need to remember that you need to have two chairs. One dirty chair and the other chair marked as clean chair. So you need to have clean gloves, alcohol based hand rub, a dirty chair, a clean chair, disinfectant wipes and a waste container. Now, even before you leave the patient's room, if you have, uh, if you can clearly see some waste material, some blood on you, you need to remove that with a wipe, with an alcohol-based rub. You need to clean your hands and ask the observer to open the room for you. Your observer should also be wearing a face shield and a fruit resistant gown. Now your observer will inspect you for any clearly visible waste clean your gloves. If you are wearing the apron at this time, you can remove the apron at this time. Pull the apron away from your body and discard it, especially in a way from outside to inwards. If there is any contamination, you can wipe it off at this time. Clean your gloves. Now sit down on the designated dirty chair. Remove the shoe covers carefully. Now remove the other boot, con boot cover and throw it in the infectious weight container. Again clean your gloves. Remove your outer gloves. Pulling from the exterior side of the gloves. Hold the removed glove in the other hand and with a single finger remove the other hand's glove too. And it should be completely inside out. Now you clean your inner gloves. Carefully remove the face shield. Disinfect your inner gloves. If you're wearing a hood, you need to remove the hood at this point of time. Clean your inner gloves. Remove your crown from the shoulder area first. Again, turn the crown inside out. Remember that the only the interior part of the gown should remain visible. Clean your inner gloves. Remove the inner gloves just the way you remove the outer gloves. You can now put a new pair of gloves once your hands are dry. Now you remove your respirator. First the lower strap, <coughs> the upper strap. Now you need to clean all your external shoes at this point of time and also ask your observer to observe you for any visible contamination. So the correct order for removing PPE would be removing the boots, outer gloves, face shield, face hood, gown, 
and lastly inner gloves and the respirator. That is a very important expected MCQ for your AIMS, especially the AIMS and the NEET PG exams. I am Dr. Siddharth Sethi, your pediatrics consultant and I am always there to help you guys. If you have any doubts, you are welcome to ask these questions on the Facebook, the club. Thank you.